What's your favorite food? I love, love, love vegetables. Why do you ask? One day I want to cook for you. <laughs> Tiny Pemba, stop looking around. You don't know how to cook. Just wait. One day I'm going to cook for you and you'll be surprised. Okay, cool. I can't wait. Pumpkins, they are my favorite food. Whenever I eat, I end up feeling good. Wait, Tiny Sambo, I've forgotten how much you love pumpkins. Hey, I was just singing the song to remind you. Tiny Sambo, you're a sneaky one. We've had so many pumpkins in our field this year. We've eaten a bunch and we're gonna sell the rest. Come on, Kibena. You know how much I love pumpkins. You didn't think to save me even one. Wait, there's a couple left in our field. Let's go see my grandmother. Wait a minute, does she know you? Ah, Kibena, she knows me. I am well known. That's great, but we have to ask her really nicely. And I think she'll give you two pumpkins. That would be amazing. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Why did you bring this pumpkin monster home with you? Grandma, how did you guess why he's here? I came to see you, Bibi. It's been so long since I last saw you and I really miss you. Hmm, stop the flattery, Junior Jumbo. I know you came here for pumpkin. I have a question for you. Have you ever heard that you have to earn your keep? Yes. Right then, grandchildren. First, you need to help me out and take all of these pumpkin green to sell at the market, okay? What about the ones we'll eat? Just how many pumpkins do you want? I'll take them all if I could and I'll eat them really slowly so they last forever. <laughs> but Bibi, I'm just kidding. I'd be happy with two. Kibena, this is a lot to carry. I heard that they're really good for your health. Don't you know that's why I love them? Tiny Temple, let's split the burden by carrying it together. What do you mean? I want pumpkins, not a burden. <laughs> what kind of vegetable is that? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant, Tiny Temple. <laughs> okay, don't laugh at me, just tell me. You carry the pumpkins and I'll carry the leaves, okay? Good idea, Kibena. Let's do it. Let me hide my two pumpkins first, then I'll come get them on the way back. My goodness, pumpkins and greens must be really good for your health. Everyone at the market wanted to buy some. Didn't I tell you? So were you just eating them without knowing how much they were helping your health? I just like the taste. Don't you stop liking it. Eat your greens every day. I think I'll go on my way now. I need to pick up my pumpkins and take them home. All right, see you later. Grandma, everyone loved the pumpkins. We sold them all, even all the greens. There isn't a single one left. Oh no, Kibena. I forgot to keep even one pumpkin for seeds. Wait, we haven't got any seeds? Not one. Quick, Kibena, run back to the market and buy at least one pumpkin so that we can put away the seeds. We haven't got any seeds? Not even one? Kibena, stop sending around. Just go and find some seeds for next year. I can't believe I forgot to put away my savings. Grandma, I've got an idea. Okay, tell me, Kibena. Maybe I can go see Tiny Temple to see if he put any seeds away. Good idea, Kibena. I forgot to keep even one pumpkin for seeds. Kibena, when did 
did you start running for exercise? Hold on. Let me catch my breath. Oh, my friend Kibenon, those pumpkins were so delicious. What's wrong? Isn't it a good thing that your pumpkins were delicious? Tiny Temple, Grandma and I forgot to put away pumpkin seeds for next year. I was hoping to get at least one back from you, but you've eaten them. What are we going to do? My Grandma and I don't have any pumpkins. Too bad, buddy. Kibena, you're about two minutes too late. Just finished eating that second delicious pumpkin. Oh, no! Too bad, buddy. But that's the way it is. Hopefully you've learned your lesson and you won't forget to put away your savings next time. But you didn't even remind me, Tiny Tembo. But I say it all the time, Kibena. Hold on, Kibena. I've got an idea. You know me well, don't you, Kibena? Who am I? You're my friend, Tiny Tembo. Why the silly question? Is that all just my name, Tiny Tumble? That's not all. You know that I'm always prepared and I always put away my saving. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Wait and you'll see. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. You're the man, Tiny Tumble. Woo! So, see what I mean? Okay, now let me carry it. No, you'll go off and sell it. <laughs> I don't know how we forgot. Every day on the radio, Grandma and I always hear that song about put away your savings, your savings keep you going. Okay, let's go and take this pumpkin to your baby. You know Kibena? Uh-huh. I understand the importance of savings. That's why I left this pumpkin. Uh-huh. Because no matter what, you've got to save a little bit of what you've got. So make sure you listen carefully to the song on TV and the radio. And learn from it. Learning is everything, Kibena. It's so true. Grandma and I have learned our lesson. Woo! You're back with the seeds for the next year. Put away your savings. Because no matter what, you have to save a bit of what you got. Put away your savings. Because no matter what, you have to save a bit of what you got. You must plan for the future no matter how much you earn. Put away your savings. Because no matter what, you have to save a bit of what you got. I have to tell you kids, I am so relieved. You have made me so happy today. Don't forget to put away your savings again. There are lots of different kinds of savings. You can save seeds as well as money. That's why we say that no matter what, you have to save a bit of what you've got. That way you can be prepared for whatever may come. Guardian of Kibena Nambari, we would like to inform you of a trip to Mount Majawabu for Class 4. The cost will be 1,500 Kokotoa shillings per student. As you can see, we'll be having a class trip at the end of next month, so please take this letter home to your parents. And don't forget to start training! Training? Yes, Kiduchu, how else do you expect to reach the top of the mountain, hmm? Mount Majawabu! Mount Majawabu! There is no mountain greater here in Kokotoa! Hey, Kiduchu! Aren't you going to train with us? Nah. I want to get home fast so I can ask my parents for the 1,500 shillings. There's no point in training if you can't pay to get there. Wait up! Majawabu! Mount Majawabu! <laughs> huh? I heard you kids are training to climb the mountain! 
I was. But there's no point anymore if I can't pay for the trip and get to the mountain. Now, who says you can't pay? It costs 1,500 shillings. My daily allowance isn't enough. And I don't want to ask Bibi for more money. She can't afford it. No, now, Kibena. A smart girl like you doesn't need to ask for more money. You just need to start saving. Saving money? Of course saving money. Well, you, you could save seeds like me, but I don't think that will pay for your class trip. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck saving and trading, Kibena. Mom and Dad don't give me any money. But you don't need money. You don't have a class trip coming up. Oh, man, you too. I guess none of us are going to climb Mount Majawabu. That's okay with me. Unless we start saving. He, Kibana. We don't need to ask for extra money if we just start saving the money we already get. But don't you need a bank account to save money? Putting money in a bank account is just one way of saving money. And besides, not everyone has access to bank accounts. But you can also keep your savings in a piggy bank or make your own savings tin. You just need to keep it in a safe place. I'm not sure I know how to save. I like spending my money. Aha! But we can start a savings club. That way we can encourage and support each other in saving money. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. It's okay, he can join. He just doesn't have any actual money to save. Welcome friends to our first savings club meeting. Koba, how much will you be saving this week? 150 Kokotoa shillings. But Koba, that's all your money. How will you buy lunch? <gasps> lunch! <sighs> okay, we can't save all our money or we won't be able to eat. But how do we know how much to save? <laughs> That's a lot of pumpkins for one elephant, Tiny Temba. <laughs> I'm not going to eat them all now. You're not? No, I'll save 40% for a rainy day. That's it. We don't need to save all our money. We can save a percent of it. So what percent should I save? Well, you need around 50 shillings for lunch and some extra to pay for things like bus fares or a new pencil. So I can save 75 shillings. And 75 out of 150 is 50%. We can each save 50% of our money. Wait, how did you figure that out so fast? Like this. I get 200 shillings for school each day. And I know that 50% is the same as 50 out of 100. If we divide the top and bottom by 50, then we get 1 over 2, which is a half. So 50% or half of 200 is 100. Didn't you pay attention in class? I get 200 shillings a day too. So I'll save 100 shillings each day like you. So it'll take me... 15 days. Ah, 15 days to save up for the trip. But if I save for the whole eight weeks, I'll be able to buy anything. Like a super duper high speed jet plane that can fly us anywhere we want. Uh, I was thinking more for college. Let me try now. I have 100 shillings. 50% of 100 is the same as one half, which is 50. But don't forget, you need money for lunch too. If you save 50%, you won't have any left for extras. <sighs> That's going to be tough, Amani. Maybe you can save a bit less Amani, like 40%. But what's 40% of 100? We can turn percentage into fractions again. Allow me. 40% is the same as 40 over 100. 
So 40% is 40. If I say 40 shillings out of every 100 shillings, I will have enough for lunch plus 10 shillings for extras. Nice work, Baraka. Why, thank you. But how long will it take me to save enough money for the trip? 37.5 days. Huh? Well, let's say 38. <laughs> I might be a giraffe, but I sure know how to save. <laughs> Great! Koba, Hiduchu and I will save 50% of our money each day. And our money can save 40%. Savings Club meeting adjourned. Mount Majawabu! Mount Majawabu! Mount Majawabu! Mount Majawabu! Wow, 500 Kokotoa shillings. Go, Kibana. Your turn, Koba. Uh, I kind of spent it all. But I used it to buy this awesome cap. Cool, right? Well, at least I had some savings to spend. But Raka didn't save anything. I looked for money to save, but I didn't find anything. I'll find something I can save. Just you wait. I'm sorry, Baraka. Wait! I guess it's your turn now, Kiduchu. 50, 100, 150. Huh? Only 200 shillings? How can that be? I should have saved 500 shillings like you, Kibena. We were both saving 100 shillings each school day. Oh. I forgot I was buying cassava chips every day. And how much do they cost? 30 shillings? That means if you bought cassava chips for 30 shillings every day last year, you spent... 10,950 shillings just on cassava chips last year. 10,950? Mama, I could have saved that money for college. I hope I can return these. So, Money, how did you do? I saved 40% every day. And I still only have 200 shillings. Ugh, it's no use. I'll never save as much as the rest of you. I quit. But, uh, Money! Savings Club adjourned. Hey, Datura, want a candy? Thanks, Baraka. I'm going to save this. Save it, huh? Ah, Mamandege. Just the person I need. How can I help? I meant to be saving 100 shillings a day for the class trip. But I really want to buy some cassava chips. A very tricky situation indeed. But saving money doesn't mean you never spend your money. You can just buy fewer treats now, so you'll have more money for more treats and other things in the future. Oh, so saving is about planning for the future. Yes. Sometimes we have to save for short-term goals in the near future. Like the class trip. Aha! Uh -huh. And sometimes we have to save for long-term goals. Like going to college. Hmm, so I could limit myself to a treat like this one day a week? Exactly! Ha <laughs> ha And then I can save more for the class trip and for college. That's the spirit of good saving, Kiduchu! <laughs> it's painful to be lonely. <clears throat> oh! Isn't that my song? <laughs> oh, Amani, you are feeling lonely? I am, Uncle T. I'm trying to save money, but I can't save as much as any of my friends. It must be so easy being an animal. You'll never have to worry about saving. <laughs> Let me show you something. 
Ngedere. Oyo, Ngedere. Uh, Uncle T? Eh, I thought you'd be in a tree. Oh, a respectable monkey like me in a tree? No, 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 no. Ngedere, I wanted to know how many bananas you have saved this week. Two, four, and that's ten. Look, I've saved a lot, okay? I haven't saved any. I need to be getting back to the market. There's more money to be made and bananas to be saved. A big giraffe like me eats more than a little monkey. I need to eat all the bananas I get to fill me up. But Ngedere only needs two or three so he can save some of his. So even when we're saving for the same thing, our savings will always be different because we all have different lifestyles and situations. Yes, yes. Our savings are relative to our needs and situations. So we shouldn't compare ourselves. Exactly. We just save what we can and we support each other to save too. Kiduchu, you're supposed to be training and saving, remember? The trip is tomorrow. I am saving. Buying cassava chips was only a problem because I was doing it every day. If I just do it once a week, then I can save and have cassava chips. See, I've saved loads in the last few weeks. Whoa! Whoa. I have more than enough to pay for the trip tomorrow. How about you, Koba? I thought you spent all your savings last month. Well, I realized you can't give up after the first failure. So, I tried saving again and... Turns out, if I don't spend it all, I can save a lot. And so can I. Huh? You found money to save? Not money. Candy! <laughs> <laughs> Who knew saving wasn't all about money? Saving is about delayed gratification. Not benefiting now, so you may benefit more later. <laughs> Can I still be a member? I still have my tin. A money! Yes, anyone can be a savings club member. Baraka just proved you don't even need money to save. Well, I can't save money, but I realize saving is personal. I don't get as much money as you guys, so I can't save as much. But that's okay, because I'll save what I can. And you know what? I saved enough for the class trip. Yeah! yeah. Go oh, a money! Yeah. Woo! Nice one! Save saving money, save saving money, save saving money. E, e, e. When you've got a go you want to reach, try saving up your money. Choose an amount, however small, and save until you reach your goal. Save, save, saving money, gonna reach our future goals by saving as we go. Save, save, saving money, they might seem far away, but today is the day to save something. Instead of always using money to buy chips, why not try saving some of it? It all adds up, and in the end, savings will be your friend. Save, save, saving money There's no better time to start than now And we will tell you how Save, save, saving money Be it a little or a lot Whatever you got, you can save something If you're like me and you have no money You can still learn how to save Take something you love and put it away And save it for a rainy Saving is personal, it's different for us all We all save different amounts But we don't give up on what we got Cause we know every little counts Save, save, saving money Gonna reach our future goals By saving as we go Save, save, 
with saving money They might seem far away But today is the day to save something Save, save, saving money Gonna reach our future goals By saving as we go Save, save, saving money They might seem far away But today is the day to save something Majawabu Mount Majawabu Mount Majawabu Mount Majawabu <gasps> Is someone at the door? Huh. Oh, Kibena! What are you going to do? I think I know what I have to do. Thank you for being responsible and for owning up to breaking the window, Kiben. <sighs> I know you've been saving this money, but sometimes that's why we need savings. Because we might need to use that money unexpectedly. Like when your shoes get holes in. Oh, when you get sick. Or if you break a window. Here, you keep this one. Then you can start saving again. Save, save, saving money. There's no better time to start than now. And I will tell you how. I can't come on the trip anymore. I had to spend all my savings to pay for the window I broke. But don't worry. When you come back, Savings Club can begin again. Because it's never too late to start saving. Okay kids, time to get on the bus. I didn't pay Miss Malota, so I can't come. Hmm, did you know? Your friends paid for you. When we put all our savings together, we had more than enough for the trip. If it wasn't for you, Kibana, we would have never started saving. Then none of us would be going on the trip. Come on! Wait! But aren't those your savings, Baraka? Yes! But having savings means you can do nice things for your friends. Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaldo Kids family.